34, northbound, uh, through the fences is where I have a witness say that he went. Okay, sir, did you see him go behind this White House? Yes, yeah, sir. I was okay. sitting as a light when he came flying I, around me, and the officer was right behind him, and I see him both slam on the brake. Bang, 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 bang. I got out of the truck chasing him. And he was carrying at least a 45. Okay, and it was behind that house? Yes, sir. I'm positive okay. that's where he went over the fence. 334, I've got the house back here where the suspect went. I didn't know if K9 was aware, but we've also got a t shirt out here, the same house where the. Back up, guys. Find a gun back there or anything? Gun! Right here! Somebody hold on it. Don't go See me five Leash. Was it your dog? Yeah. Got him? Yeah. He just led you right in there? Yeah, we done started a track down here on 40. Yeah. Come through the backyards and straight through all these backyards and went straight to the garage. I saw him pulling really hard. I, yeah. I was happy to see that. That's good. You know, you do this job every day and, you know, you get in car chases and you chase people with guns and, you know, sometimes they shoot at you and sometimes they shoot, you know, officers that work with you. And this has been uh, my third incident now where I've had an officer shot that I was just down the road. It's an eerie feeling when you hear the, uh, the call come out, officer shot, officer shot, you know, but uh, luckily I think he's going to be all right and we got the suspect in custody and he'll never do this again. Has, have you heard how, how Officer Malik is yet? He was shot in the lower leg. Okay. All, all his vital signs sounded fine. He was alert okay. and oriented. He was talking. I saw, I saw some blood on his forehead. I didn't know if that was... I, I haven't heard anything Probably about from that. his heard, leg. Uh, somebody said he fell and hit his head, too. Okay, so. that's good. I heard pow, 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 and then pow, 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 pow. Did he, pow. Get, did he get shots off? I, he got shots off, yeah. Okay. There's, shell, there's shell casings that was um, kneeling on over there. But yeah, I figured I'd go after the suspect because we didn't know where the he was. Thing, I didn't know if he was hiding in the bushes ready to the only thing take I you out. Or... Lee's on the ground. The only thing I could do is keep him down. And keep right. Where they said he ran covered right. until you guys got here. I got, we got the witness up that way. I just finished uh, handling a call with the officer. And um, he cleared. And as he's leaving the call, he noticed that 
there's this uh, black vehicle right up there with the back window shot out. He noticed it racing down the highway or down a side street and uh, remembered that it was chased earlier tonight um, by a neighboring police department for uh, being taken in conjunction with a carjacking, an armed carjacking. So he started in pursuit um, and I was trying to parallel it on a side street and you know get close enough to become involved and uh, come flying around the corner off the highway and uh, pull up right here and all I see is his car's all shot up, you know, tires down, windows shot up, and uh, officer laying there in the middle of the street, figured out the direction of the suspect, and we took off after him, which you know, we later grabbed him up, hiding out inside a garage. Uh, just got an update on the officer, and uh, he's going to be fine. He was shot in the leg, but he's in good spirits, and he looks to be okay. Law enforcement can be a stressful job. That's why you have to have different outlets and ways to relieve the stress and kind of get away from the job. I do a lot of outdoorsy stuff. I like to sail. I have a little sailboat. I go out and uh, it's nice just to be reconnect with nature and it kind of re-energizes you so you're ready to come into the job. And uh, we're being dispatched to a uh, domestic disturbance where apparently the uh, male half um, allegedly choked the fem female half. The male half may be intoxicated and on drugs and maybe suicidal. We're almost on scene. 1300, they kind of. We're 97 in the area. That's 10 4, that's where the female half was. 10 4, I'll make contact with the female half and go from there. All right, I got someone inside making a ruckus. Hey, Chief, what's going on? My dad just beat my ass. That's my ass. Relax, relax. Your dad just beat. Yes, sir. Hey, Chief, have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down, man. Sit down. Back up off. Hey, get that little sword out of here, man. Hey, 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 hey. Get her out. Hold on. Hold on. Get her out. You want to look at that whore? That little slut. Chief Ball smoking that crack. Chief Ball smoking that crack, bitch. All right, relax. Relax, man. Have a seat, man. You need an ambulance? No, I don't need no ambulance. I need y'all to leave me alone. I need to go to sleep, man. My dad has beat my ass. All right. Well, what what happens? We're gonna figure it out. What what's going on with the uh, they the girl out over there? Argument, her? I kicked her out because she went out like a little crackhead. Up. She go get more no more dope, so she wanted to go home. All right. So all right. I was like, all right, go home. I was like, you want to be like that? I was like, we supposed to be lovers and friends. You guys live together? No, we just fr we weren't friends. Yeah, I know. That little slut. All right. Well, come on, come on out here, man. We're going. Man, go. I ain't going to jail, man. I'm not saying you're going to jail. I'm man, just I'm figuring going out. I'm going to sleep. I just three and a half years in prison. I don't care what y'all do, man. All right. I ain't going to jail. Well, you need to relax a little bit until I'll we relax, get there. Relax, man. We'll, I ain't we'll, going to jail, man. I just want to go. I'm to not sleep. saying you're going to sleep. All right, we're gonna. You're gonna come out to my car until we figure this out. All right. Come on. Hey, don't grab on me. Go stand there, that car. Yeah, you just relax. All right. Tell me what we happened. We were in the no. house, we were fine. We were making love and everything. Okay. She wanted more dope. This, I, this I couldn't your... get her more dope, you this... know? All right. All right. So she starts what, what kind of dope? Like crack? Like crack. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you're supposed to be my friend. The only okay. thing I did was I pushed her out the door. I said, go. And that was it. And my okay. dad started arguing and we got in a fight. Man, I ain't going to jail. I just threw half years of prison. Uh, man, come on, man. I just want to go to sleep. Please, man. So, so you you thought know, about that early. Hey, 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 hey. And bust it up hey, the house. You need to back up, all right? You need to, you need to back up. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Go at the end of that car and stand right there. Go over to the end of the car and stand there. You stand right there. She's a little cracker. All right. I ain't about that. I ain't about that. You yeah, I do. Break out your ID. I do. I'm the only one that's ever been here for. They just want to get in her pants. All right. Over here. Over here. Why don't you tell me what happened? What's your name? 
Ashley, okay, this guy had a mad crush on me. We've been friends since 14 years old. This has nothing to do with dating. He assaulted me because he got jealous because I won't stay night in his bed. Okay. I don't want to stay night with him. I okay. got me a man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We, we've been best friends for years. He gets on them pills. He gets drunk. He starts doing his He gets all psycho. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Look what he did to my... You, do you see anything? Where did he Where, where did he hit you? He, did, he tried to choke the Try to choke you? Yeah, all right. Punch me right here, 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 here. Everything. Okay. Right all right. Talk. Hey. All right. Look. And we'll go from there, okay? He assaulted me, and I ain't even lying to you. Okay. Okay. Do you live here? Severely. His dad had to pull him off me. I had to leave. All right. Okay. I ran over here to call you guys. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. I don't need to be assaulted. I, I, no, it, no one needs it, to be hit. His girlfriend broke up with him. He gets drunk, and I'm the only one that's there for him. And he uh -huh. gonna try me like that. Is he your boyfriend or is he just your friend? We, he, he, he's more of a friend. Uh huh. But ain't nothing more than that. He ain't my boyfriend. Do you guys live together or anything? No, we don't live together. You know. You don't live together. We don't live together. We've been best friends since I was 14 years old. Do you need Do you need an ambulance or anything else? No. No. No, I'm pissed. I want him arrested. All right, just relax. All right. He has a lot of problems. He's okay. Been getting worse and worse. It got out of hand. I told you, I got how did how did it how did it get out of hand? Start from the beginning. When, when they, been, you and him are here. She comes over. Okay. She's start been here from for there. a couple of days. They've been smoking. They drank. They get All screwed right. up. Everything's been fine till okay. the night. Okay. But it only goes on a couple of days and then it explodes and they get in a big fight. So I got her out of the house and she didn't get hurt and then the kid started on me and I couldn't get the kid off of me. Okay. All right. And you and him are. He's your he's your yeah, son, yeah. and you live together. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. It's been really bad. And you ripped really your shirt bad. due to the uh, with him. Yeah. With him. Yeah. All right. You have any injuries? No. No. Do you need an ambulance or anything? No, I don't I don't need need no. All right. Just relax. Stay at here. Don't talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to your son. Hey, Joseph. You're getting placed under arrest for domestic violence. All right. I need you to put your hand behind your back. All right. I'm not going to give you no trouble, please. Right, I, I got cerebral palsy. I got cerebral palsy. Hey, don't. hey. Man, you got your knee up my ass, bro. Come on, please. Listen, listen. Just put your I'm hand not, back. I'm going to, man. Okay. Get your knee out my ass, man. As soon as you got your hand back there, you're all set. Relax. All right. All right. All right. Why y'all locking me up? I ain't do nothing, man. These people call me. Stop. Stop it. Get Stop. off. Let go. Let go. Get off. That hurt. That hurt, Stop. man. That hurt. No, he's Stop. Stop hurt. I ain't going to jail, I'm going to get off! You're dragging my feet and they're bleeding! Okay. Alright. Alright. Just get in the car. Right. Right. Throw me sit. in the sit. car. In the car. I'm going to sit in the car. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you going to throw me, man? Get your feet in. I Obviously, uh, the son's going to jail. Dad understands the circumstances. And uh, the girlfriend's going home, too. So, there won't be any more uh, violence from this residence tonight. Uh, Rialto, California is about uh, 60 miles east of Los Angeles. Uh, a friend of mine got hired out here and uh, told me to come do a ride along with him. Came out and did a ride along with him and uh, I got hired out here as a reserve officer. Then I got hired full time and I've been full time out here uh, ever since for about uh, six and a half years now. So it's a great place to work. I got the 97 Frank 22, do we have a description of the subjects running northbound? Copy. They had a three-vehicle TC, traffic action, and we had uh, four subjects run from the scene, and uh, sounds like they got some serious injuries at the, uh, the scene. And the people who ran uh, westbound are, should be right in this area somewhere. Let me see your hands! Right now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Frank 22, two at gunpoint. I'm hurting, man. Don't move! And I'm moving. To a gunpoint. I'm gonna need RFD at this location too. And I'm moving. Get, get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. Don't resist. Behind me, baby. Okay. Oh. It's alright. Oh, right. Okay. All right, man. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Hurry up. Let's go. Spread your feet. Frank 22, two detained. I'm gonna need a unit north of us. My car, dude. I mean, no, uh, unit north of us. Uh, What's going on, officer? Let me know when you're done talking so I can ask you a question. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, officer. Okay. What happened down there at the accident? What accident? The one, come on, don't play games with me. I got people down there who are going to point you. You guys are running from the scene. Okay, we were right here. What's going on? You got glass in your head. Okay, so I got glass uh, in my head. Go ahead. 
Uh, these two came running southbound from that area. We had a total of four outstanding. We got two. We're going to need to do an area check up over, over here to see if those guys might be hiding out up over here. You're on parole, right? Yes, okay. Sir. Do you want it to be worse for you now, you being on parole? It's an accident. It's an accident. You got in an accident. Tell me what happened. What Instead of lying about, about What are you talking about? Daniel, I can smell the alcohol coming off you, too. Okay, so you smell the alcohol. Okay. What? what happened over there? So I've been drinking today. So what? What happened to the accident? <gasps> what accident? You're not going to talk to me? All right, well, we're going to violate you. No, 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 that's, that's no, fine. No, okay, we're just going to violate that's you. That's fine. Look, officer. Okay. That's fine. Fine with me. That's fine. Look, I haven't done nothing wrong. Okay, well. I mean. All the, the, all the witnesses the down block. there are going to tell me different, right? Yeah. Glenn. I, I wrecked in a dirt bike, by the way. Can your partner come over here? Stand by here for a second. What's your name? Justin. What happened, Justin? I don't know. But I'm Was he I driving? Blast my head. No, I don't know. What's him, well, he's drunk. I can tell. I so hey, how old are you? 22. 22. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, then tell me what happened. I don't know what happened. I was sitting in the car and my head got smashed against the window. Okay, who got her? Who was driving? I don't remember, eh? I don't Daniel? know nothing. Who? The guy over here? Was he driving? All right, have a seat. I want you to just sit down and keep your feet out. out sit down. Just sit like that. Sit like that. All right. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Caught my last time I said stuff. I got I got glass in my head. Dude. Okay, what do you think happened to the people over there in the action? You got in a car accident. Right, eh? You know hope? What happened. I'm hurting too. I hope they're alright. I was in an accident. It's my fault. Okay. Your fault. You were driving. No, I wasn't driving. Eh? How was it your fault if you weren't driving? Because I was just I'm just as fault for being in that situation. Eh? Okay. All right, go slide in for me. Okay. He's coming westbound on Foothill. Uh, the guys that fled this car are coming southbound run a red light and he hits them and he gets to hit this pole there. We got to get Edison out here to check the pole. It's cracked. This car, after it hits the truck, hits another parked car, that white one there that was parked in the um, in the turn lane. So he's going to get transported to Arrowhead. I don't know the status of the four that ran. The two of them got, two we got that were running. I think they got two more detained. Over uh, there, the so. driver, party three, said he could possibly ID, so I got Luther going to take him over there to check him out and see if we right, can get him ID. They're going to do it. So right now, just one, one Right now, just hurt. one injured. They're shaking up, but they're not hurt, and then uh, whatever the injuries are, the guard. Okay. I don't know if this is stolen or not. Let me check. This guy's just a witness. I was uh, about the third car back at, at a red light here. Uh-huh. Uh, so it was green that direction. The Honda came northbound on the uh, on the street, uh -huh. went across the red, and, it, and impacted with this vehicle here. Where did it hit it? Right inside here? Yeah, right here in the front area, that, you know. All right. That's a. Uh, did you see? And you saw how many people ran from the car? Four uh, Hispanics, uh, adolescent. Um, and they all limped away. They went up to, like, uh, not the alleyway, but the next street and made a left hand turn. And all four of them? All four of them. Together? Yes. Okay. All right. And they all went, all four of them went uh, westbound, right? Westbound. Okay. Not at the, uh, not at the, uh, the actual alley, but the, the street that's there, the very right. first one. The guys that ran, can yes. you identify any of them if you saw them? Um, just just by uh, clothing only. Okay. You know, because they, they, they got out of the car quickly. Okay. So if we're going to have an officer take you up there okay. and see if you can identify sure. anybody, would that be all right? Good. Okay. Just wait right here and we'll have somebody come and okay. get you, okay? Well, Thanks, sir. My keys, my that's fine. Okay. No problem. Thank you. You understand what's going on? You were in a car accident, right? Yes, sir. Okay. No, I mean... Come, uh, listen, we okay, got... Go ahead, go you ahead. see what I'm saying? Listen, why don't you yeah. listen to me for a second, yes, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Right, we know you're in the, you're in a car accident, okay? okay we got lots of people who have identified you already as already? you were in the car accident. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Do you think I'm going to mess with you? Do you think I got time to mess with you, Daniel? Okay, go ahead. Okay, seriously. Think about what you're looking at. You're already on parole. What are you on parole for? Oh, I mean, I've been on parole a couple times. Just I know, but what, what are you currently, what's the charge you're currently on parole for? Uh, I think a uh, felon with a firearm or something. Okay. All right, how long, you, when you discharge? I don't know, 2012, 2009, something okay. like that. Well, listen, do you think honesty is going to help you out? Or do you think you're going to end up going back for a long time if you keep lying? I don't know. Am I going to go to jail or not? Yes, you're going to jail. Okay, then okay. take me to jail. Okay, you're going to go to jail. Take me to jail. Let me tell you what you're going to jail for. Okay, then that's fine. Take me to jail. I don't need to. I'll just okay. find out when I'm uh, going to You're court. going for felony drunk driving. Okay, and then that's fine. Okay, and then you I'll hurt beat somebody. Court, and I'll go to court. Okay. And I'll find it. You think? And I'll find it. And you want me to sit back in the car now? Yeah, go you ahead know, and sit back. No, no, okay. Okay, thank you. Hey, Daniel. Yes, sir. Sit in the car. Realize this. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. I'll see it in the court. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll see it inside the court and wait. And I'll thank you. Thank you very much, officer. Thank you. Life. Think of life. Okay. Felon with lots of convictions. Okay, and that's fine. You can shut the door. Life. And we'll go to court. We'll go to court? Yeah, we'll go to court, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll it be there. It doesn't matter what you say. What can
We're in Perry and Charles area, north side. Where? Our plain clothes officer is following a known narcotics user who they've arrested in the past, who's not from the area. They, be they believe that yeah, he's going to yeah, purchase yeah, narcotics. Yeah, okay, they, they got him. He's running from the officers right now. Where's he at? Oh, Christian, to the right, to do the cut. Come through the cut. Going back down that way. He's going down. Go, go. Kid took off in the woods. They had him surrounded. He's going down this street right down here. We're hoping we can cut him off right here. Come out. There he is right there through the woods. Go, Moss. Go, 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 go. Stop. Go. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. I got no hands behind your back. I got no. Oh, hell no. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Actor in custody. Oh, hell no. Good boy. Good boy, all. Good boy. Good boy, boy off. Oh. He had a gun on him. You had a gun. We seen you throw it. Why'd you run? I was scared, sir. How old are you? I'm 18, sir. I was Good scared. Enough. I was scared. I was. I don't play that scared stuff anymore. I was scared. Yeah. It don't make any sense. It was at my cousin's house, sir. Please, I don't even have nothing on me, sir. Yeah, we're gonna go find it. Yeah, go this way. He ran up this way. Go ahead and lean to one leg here. Lean to your right. I pull my pants off, sir. Yeah, we're gonna take you out here and identify and everything. We probably threw it right there. Do not know, sir. Okay. Why'd you run in, man? Go ahead and lean up against this car here. Hey, just sit right here, bud. You know, as a matter of fact, sit down on the ground here. Sit down I right here. Sit right down right here, bud. Sit I down. Even... Bro, sit down. Don't worry about it, man. Sit down, man. Jason, no we, got, we got information. He threw a gun somewhere between where they lost sight and where they lost A gun? So it could be anywhere. Ben, what's your birthday? I didn't have, y'all didn't find nothing on me, sir. Ben, what's your social security here, number? I don't know. No. Okay. He was going to make a drug deal up the street here. When Actually, they came up on him, he took off deal. running. I did make a drug deal. Y'all yes, didn't see me do nothing. I didn't, didn't do you know your social security it. number? No, sir. How old are you? AK, this sir. is the kid they had. He was going to meet the, uh, I wasn't the buyer meet right nobody, up here. I wasn't going to meet nobody, sir. Uh, when they came up, plain clothes officer, saw him approach him. He uh, took off into the woods. I was scared. But I don't even have nothing on me, though, sir. Well, we're going to go get what you had. If you'd have just I mean, stopped when they told you to stop, none of this would have happened. I was scared, sir. Here's the thing. People don't run from the police unless they have a reason to run from the police. I see, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying I was scared. I get nervous every time I see the police. Yeah, but For you, some reason. I mean, there's no reason to run if you don't have anything to hide. My neck is just killing me, though, sir. You're under arrest. For what, sir? You're under arrest. Huh? You're under arrest. I didn't have nothing, sir. You're under arrest. Oh, my God. Y'all didn't even... Oh, my God. Why y'all putting this on me? Hanging up. I didn't even have nothing. Have a seat, man. Don't move around too much. All right, here's what happened. We had, we stopped two guys for a vehicle violation. Uh, we found what we believed to be narcotics paraphernalia in the car. They told us that they were going to buy off of a dude up here on our rollaway. They made a telephone contact with him. They found out what he had on. At that point, we saturated the area in hopes of getting the guy. Once we spotted the guy up on the street up above, we went to do a uh, mirror encounter with him to talk to him, see what he was up to. As soon as we got out of the car, we saw his uh, left pocket was, was heavy towards one side. I believe he had a firearm in his uh, coat pocket. Our canine, Ulf, happened to be right at that corner. When he came out from the house, he came up with the dog. He's, right now, he's a fleeing felon for the intent to deliver and also the firearm violation. Officer Shirley gave him three verbal commands to stop. He failed to comply. Now, at some point when he made it up this cut, he was able to discard his narcotics and the firearm somewhere up in his thick uh, brush up here. Oh, here we go. Got it? Yeah. There it is. Right. Hold on, Jay. Uh, uh, Got it? There's two stamp bags right there. Right there. That was the two. I told you. Nice. It smells like... Uh, oh, there's a couple of them right there. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we found the uh, drugs down. There's a stand right there. It's dry. I mean, it's relatively dry. It's, it's been, been raining. Been there. It's been raining all day. We got three so far. All right, so it's a pretty good opportunity. He probably threw the gun up in here, too, so maybe we can get up on this hill and check. 
Oh, here's another one. Craig, we found the drugs down here where he was not taking any Listen, we found the stamp bags, okay? We know that you were, you, you were slinging these, okay? These were found right where the dog got you at, back here behind the house. All right, they're dry. It's been raining all day. We've been out in the rain all day, so these things are dry. You know you had them, all right? We know that you were slinging these, okay? We're asking for you, if you did have that firearm, to let us know. Because I swear to God on nothing, on okay. everything, I, I didn't ben, have no you swore, gun. you swore to God a few minutes ago that you didn't have any drugs on you either. When y'all caught okay? me, did I have anything on me? It doesn't matter. You had it on you. You discarded it, no. okay? If it was there prior to you getting there, it would have been sopping wet, okay? So swearing to God ain't going to help you none. Don't you think y'all have found a gun? Well, we're still looking, so we're not sure. Okay? All right, could y'all take me to get my hair fixed? All right. Well, listen, you're going to go to jail tonight. I mean, we got four stamp bags on you. We got you with an intent to deliver. That's a felony, okay? Hold on, no, sir. Look, I didn't have them. But look. You didn't have these? Y'all y'all looking for guns. How y'all going y'all gonna to do all this paperwork for what? Nothing. If y'all found it for guns, I don't have the guns. Go up North yeah, Heights or something. We're, we're going to go up there. No we, we didn't say we were doing it all for guns. You understand? This is the, this is our downfall of our society right here. Drugs. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, sure. that? We think all crime comes from drugs, and you are a drug dealer. No gun. You understand that? You're I a drug have dealer. No gun. You understand that, Ben? Could you just please let me go? Ask where the guy. We can't, I'll we can't stop let you go. We're gonna take you down to the hospital and get your ear checked out, okay? Yeah. Then We're gonna get that, them. Then what are you gonna do? Well, then you're gonna go to the county jail. You ever been down there before? Yeah. Well, see you down the county. I'm currently assigned to East Precinct, Bard County Sheriff's Department. We got quite a few miles stretch here at Merritt Island. Various criminal activity, a lot of burglaries, a lot of juveniles in this area. I enjoy it. It's really unpredictable out here on the streets. You, you know, one night could be really slow, and then the next night you could be action packed. And so it, it keeps you on your toes. It's it's a it's a it's a great job. I enjoy it. it. Looks like we have a maroon truck over here. She's trying to avoid me. She uh she's slowing down now. She doesn't want me to get behind her. And she's pulled back here behind Pelican Creek. 321 outfield. I'll be out of 13 Victor behind Pelican Creek. Come here. Why are you so nervous? Because you I got a warrant? No, I have no warrant, but I was doing wrong. You're trying to avoid me. No, I wasn't. But will you please let me call? Step back. Myself? Step back for me. Will you please. What were you me? doing wrong? I don't know. When I was doing wrong, but I know I'm driving more license but, but I just went through my my certificates in the car. What certificate? It, advanced driving school. I get my driver's license back Wednesday, please. You don't have a license? It was spent 10 years ago, and I'm not lying to you, okay? Okay, because I know the truck's not registered to you because I ran the tag. It's Russell. Okay. Right. Could you please, please, officer, please, I'll pay Just walk you. back here to the front of my car. I'm, please. I'm going to get officer. your information and stuff from you. Please. What please. was please. your license suspended for? DUI. Okay. Years. How much I, have you had to drink tonight? Nothing. 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 When I take. What does that have to do with? I how just much had, had a tooth pulled, and I, I'm not allowed to drink for 72 hours. Okay. Well, I can smell the alcohol coming off your breath right now. It's only mouthwash. Mouthwash. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you my bottle. I swear, I swear on my tax grave, I swear, officer, I'm going to be straight in the eye. I'm, I'll tell you, right, straight, forward. I would not be rude to you, okay? I confessed, right? Okay, you jumped out of the truck and ran inside, and I when did, I asked... I, I was afraid. Baby, I just got out of the pen. Ten months. Kimberly, I stand need... right here in front of my car and stand still, please. I need some water. Why do you need water? Because I... when I tell you I got caught mouth, I got caught mouth. I did get scared. Right, because I you did. know you're doing wrong. That's, That's why, why you got scared. That's why I'm being honest with you. Okay. Well, your honesty altogether depends on what happens tonight. So I'm going to ask you again, how much have you had to drink tonight? One, two beers. Where? Down here at H Street. Where? H Street. H Street? You mean H Road down in South Atlanta? Which, uh, which uh, mobile home were you at? Fix. Where? Fix. Fix. Vix. Fix. H six. Okay. Tom was in the car when you, I jumped out. Tommy. Yeah, he was, was wasn't driving though. Well, he was first, and then we switched over. Not yeah. when I saw you. No, because we had already switched over. When you were at the light right there, he was driving, and then I switched over. I don't believe you, Kimberly. I saw you driving the whole time. When I saw you driving, 
okay? Just sit tight and we'll run your information, okay? Oh, she's acting like she's intoxicated. She's slurring, very nervous. I think there might even be something inside the truck. She has no ID, no DL. She just threw something under the car. What did you just throw under the car? Nothing. What did you just throw under the car? I don't car? have nothing on me. Search my vehicle. Grab her, 10 15. I don't have nothing on me. I didn't throw nothing behind me. I got it. Me. I'm sorry, I didn't throw yes, nothing. Yes, you did. You just threw crack underneath no, I the car. I don't smoke crack. You want me to do your nose? Stand right there. Don't move. You got her? No, I don't have nothing on me. Uh, she just threw this under the car. Looks like crack. She probably pulled it out in her pants somewhere. Have anything else in your pants? No, I have nothing. Officer, I swear that just blew across and I bent down to pick it up. I swear. I'm not looking at you and lying to you. That's what Tommy dropped. I swear to God. Where's Tommy? Tommy ran. Tommy ran. Get around me to get some you know there was two people in that car, in that truck. You know Tommy on each street, right on the corner. Search that vehicle, you'll find me. I will search that vehicle. Oh, there we go. That right there looks like a crack pipe. All it is is a, uh, a socket off a wrench set. It's got chore boy packed in the end to keep the crack from coming through the pipe. You want to talk to me about what happened? Yes, I, I'm being honest with you. Where, where did you have the crack inside of your pants? I didn't have it in my pants. Where was it? In my boot. In your boot? Was in it? my boot. In your boot. Is that what Tell you Tommy passed it off to me. And I stuck it in my boot. Yes, I did. Okay. And then you tried to toss it under the car, but yes, when you sir, saw the I female did. deputy show up, she knew yes, you were going to get searched? Yes, sir. You know that the crack cocaine is a felony. Kim, it's one thing after another for you tonight. You know? It is. But, yeah. officer, I'm being honest with you. I get my driver's license back Wednesday. Please, officer. Please. Well, Kim, we'll talk, we'll talk about it more when we go to the precinct, okay? Please let me go. I can't let you go. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go to jail tonight. Advising, it's going to be a couple of subjects with the all black, possibly Hispanic, armed with a shotgun. Let's get the units off. Uh, uh, we're responding to a robbery that just occurred at a burger joint. The uh, suspects were seen running southbound towards this trailer complex. Um, two suspects wearing uh, black clothing and black ski masks. All right, I lost sight of them right here on the corner. It was on footage. Stop right there. Right behind you. Okay. I'll go straight here, okay? Say I'm 30, 40 king. All right, you're handling this. Set up a outside perimeter and set up an inside perimeter. Start on the uh, south side that Vigil last saw and work two teams going northbound on each side of the uh, trailers. Take your hands away from your body. Put them straight out. Put them straight out. All the way out. Don't move. I'm telling you right now, don't move. Was this just a cell phone? Backpack. Where's the backpack at? Huh? Where's the backpack? Roll me to your left. Roll her on your right and stand up. Backpack, Oh, okay. I guess I'm seeing stuff. Sit down right here. 
cross it. It was black like this, like a, a black. Put your feet out yeah, in front of you. It was black like in almost cross a diamond it. shape. It had the big, big. Uh, when I seen him running right here, he didn't have it on. But when he jumped the fence right here, he had it. Whoops. You're almost theoretically caught red-handed. The robbery occurred, we responded in the area, you're seen running with the backpack, we catch you, but you don't have a backpack. So we find the backpack, we find the clothing, and we find the money. And the backpack is exactly as the officer described. If you can point out where the gun was thrown, or if you threw the gun... I don't know anything about a gun. Anything. Can I ask you a dumb question? What's a dumb question? Why do you keep lying to us? Why I gotta be lying? Why can't I just be telling the truth? Because you just don't agree with what I'm saying. Because I know better. Basically, both uh, suspects come in with a ski mask. They order the uh, waitress to pull all the money out of the counter. And uh, from there, they uh, just run uh, southeast uh, away from the business. Okay. The counter. And there is a footprint that is consistent with the uh, suspect's shoes actually on top of the counter based on his shoe print and the shoe print that's uh, on top of the counter okay I, I looked at it but i'm thinking that's it that's the uh, shoe print that's on the uh yeah those holes okay so get the photograph of this or get somebody on it the uh, suspect's been arrested and taken to the station i'm gonna go up to the uh, location of the crime scene and see if there's uh, anything that we can get further and make sure that the victims are okay uh, we saw his shoes out at the scene. We're coming back here to see if we can uh, match the uh, description of the shoes to the actual location where it occurred. Here's the money that the officers reco recovered from the backpack that I showed you earlier. I counted it and got $433, but can I also just get you to count it just to make sure uh, that, okay. it, that that is the correct amount, and we're going to go ahead and release the money to you. Oh, you can see it really good right here. Can you see it? This one actually came out pretty good, but we'll see once it gets onto the paper if it uh, maintains the uh, imprint. Oh, you can see it really good right here. Can you see it? Yeah. This one's really good. You can see the uh, jump man on there. Where is the uh, tape? Right there. What we're doing is we're actually, we dusted the uh, counter and then what we're doing is putting tape over it so that it'll actually lift up the uh, shoe print and hopefully show what it looks like. The shoes that the uh, guy that we caught was wearing were very distinctive and what happens is that not too many people wear the exact same shoe and what we can do is we can take this, match it up with the shoe print that's here with the actual shoes that he was wearing, which will show that he's the one that jumped the counter. So, and it actually came out able to show some of the uh, little holes in the shoe. Instead of having a tread mark back and forth, you actually have little holes in the shoe. 
and then also with the with it combined just tell